Hello everyone. I'm painting John Wick here. I think the title made that obvious, <laughs> but painting John Wick with only two colors, that is black and white. Here's a different photo as well if you would like it. So I have been on a break for the past couple of weeks because I was really busy. But you know you have that urge when you really want to draw or paint something, but you also want to try something different with it. That's exactly what happened with me. So I thought, why not paint this in black and white? Or should I say grey? I think I should say grey. But back to the topic, I have coloured in black and white, you know, with pencils. You can check out check out those on my Instagram. But I've never painted in black and white, so you know, this is something new. I'm gonna say this is something new. So long form. Yes, I wanted to do long form videos from the start, but hadn't figured out a way to record. Which is why I just decided to take photos of each stage of my artwork and put it all together for a shot. But now I can record, and obviously you are seeing a video. Now I don't have a problem with shots, but longer videos allow me to talk more, like I am here, and they also allow me to share the entire process, which is nice, I guess. I hope. I might still upload a few shots here and there. I guess we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to try to move to longer videos. To be fair, this one isn't that long. Another thing I wanted to talk about is live streams. Would you be interested in live streams? I mean, I would definitely be up for that. You know, so if you are interested in those, then please do let me know. I, mean, I would love to do these live. You know. I don't know what to talk more about that. If you are interested, then please do let me know. Now, let's talk about this. When I put the first few layers in, I thought I had missed this quite a lot to fix it now. But then I thought, I have already started it, I might as well finish it. It doesn't need to look good, the result doesn't matter, the process does and I had a lot of fun with this. So I decided to trust the process and continued on. Side note, I always say to myself that trust the process. But now that I think about it, is there really a process? Hmm. As you can see, it is starting to look decent. Oh, as you see, for the eye, I put the paint in, then I pick it back up to give it that light, watery look, I don't know, to make it look like it does. In the artwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also put an outline with black in the eye to make it look more eye like. Yes. Wow, I'm really bad at explaining things. Now, just in a minute, um, not exactly a minute, but you will soon see that when I am painting the ear, I decided to let a little bit of the grey peek through so you know that the ear is present there also because I liked it. The grey becomes a lot more obvious when I paint the hair. I did the same thing for the hair, you know, putting a little bit of grey so it acted as a highlight and also because I liked it. Again, for the rest of the hair I just went around the back. And any moment now. Oh yeah, there, there it is. Now you can actually see the gate that I was talking about. Moving on to his shirt's collar now. Originally what I had planned was that I would incorporate his suit into the background. But <laughs> half the painting I realized that if I decide to do that then his hair will just you know blend in and his hair will also be incorporated into the background and that would look really weird with suit black, background black. 
for the tie I went in with that grey to create the highlight but it wasn't looking good so I went in with black lightly and then picked it back up with water as you can see right now and that worked, that, that looked fine. I remember when I was talking about the background, I still wanted it black so I decided to leave a white outline and then painted it black. I didn't record that bit but here's the result. And you know what, I'm really happy with it. Thanks for watching.